This year at Cannes is a big one for Havas. We've been here for 10 years um, on La Croisette and I'm not sure there's many agency groups that come as a single kind of organisation. Many come in their different parts, but for 10 years we've come as Havas and that's always been our mission, I suppose, is to join and connect all the different talent and capabilities together. Um, and for me, this year, hopefully is going to be more focused on how do all of the different disparate parts of the industry come together. Um, I kind of feel that over the last three years, we've always had the Palais, we've always had the Creative Awards, the Lions, of course that's a big focus. And we should always celebrate good work, but it almost feels for me like there's a bigger conversation happening outside of the Palais half the time, um, along the strip where all the tech and media companies are, the Facebooks, the Microsofts, the Twitters, increasingly the Snapchats. And then you have down kind of the port side, you have all the ad tech companies. So the Adobe's, the kind of X ads, all of those companies. And it kind of feels to me that it's almost like these three districts, which is almost a metaphor for the industry in that you've got the creatives, the media companies and the technology companies all trying to say the same thing, yet not really knowing how to work with each other, not really knowing how to kind of bring things together in order to make things better for the individual. So Havas, as you know, always talks about kind of making brands meaningful to people and I think sometimes that's what we should focus on just celebrating what's the advertising that's genuinely meaningful. A couple of years ago there were lots of focus on the awards around social goods, social business. Felt like a lot of those things were done for the awards and then they dissipated afterwards so they weren't genuinely good they were just oh how can we win a can lion this year and I, I, I would like to instinctively believe that the industry has got to break through those silos and work out how to bring those different districts together I guess a similar way to how Havas is thinking about this village kind of concept, that it's the people around the table taking their hats off, whether you're a creative or a media or a tech person, taking your hats off, focusing on the human, the person behind the advertising, and working out how to make something that generally is going to cut through, as opposed to getting lost in this world of, are we doing direct marketing, are we doing digital, are we doing PR, are we doing advertising? At the end of the day, punters and predominantly brands don't really care about those, um, those kind of silos that we've created. I mean, we're coming to Cannes at a point in time where there's a lot of discussion in the industry around what's the future of marketing, who's going to own it. You've got bigger tech companies, bigger management consultants coming into the fray. Um, but for me, those, those parts of the industry um, are going to be relevant, they're going to be interesting, but ultimately it comes back to people. And what I would say about tech companies and management consultants is they rarely start with people. Now, a brand can often forget the individual behind a piece of advertising. The agency's job is really to make sure we take things back to the individual and in a world that increasingly is becoming about how do I target you personally as opposed to a massive audience, um, I think what we're going to see is media creative technology boundaries starting to be broken down. We're going to see more teams that are just focused around how do you do the right work that cuts across medium and message, distribution and content creation. And I think some of that is going to have to be driven by the brands, right? Because they ultimately own the budget and you need strong brand guardians that go, I want you all to work together. Whether you're in one group or whether you're from different groups, I want all of you to work together to a common goal and to a common purpose that actually ensures that everything we put out is going to somehow shift the dial and is actually going to connect with people individually as opposed to the KPI being winning a lion or the KPI being kind of being reported in the marketing press. So. Marketeers have got a big role to play. Agency bosses like myself have got a big role to play in terms of breaking down silos and boundaries. Otherwise, we'll be here in another year's time and there'll still be three different conversations. How does Can keep up with the ever-changing landscape around us? So look, at the end of the day, awards are defined by different categories. So I get that you can't just have one single Grand Prix, otherwise it kind of defeats the objective of an award. However, I think Can has possibly celebrated the really big stuff and has probably fractured and fragmented into so many different parts that we can probably break it down into fewer kind of awards. Now, that doesn't mean one single award, but maybe it's by category, maybe it's brands by category, their own different verticals. But at the moment, we kind of encourage PR agencies to think in their PR mindset. We encourage creatives to think in their advertising mindsets, media people, et cetera, et cetera. So I think can could definitely move faster. Um, the data lines, it's taken two or three years for that conversation that's happening around Cannes to actually filter up into an award. I do think it's a bit impossible to have an innovation award in a silo. 
in separation from everything else because innovation should be an intrinsic part of creating any piece of work that connects with people. So can could go faster, but I also get that it's going to take a little while to reimagine how that actually happens so that every part of the industry feels like there is something for them. And until brands, marketeers break down the silos in their organisations, until agency groups just collect talent rather than have lots of agency brands, probably it's unfair to expect can line to break all of those silos down in itself. And we asked two questions. Number one, what could, should advertising look like in 2020? Not what will it look like? So it was very much aspirational.